Hello, dear friends. It is me, and it's time for another tale from Dating Hell. Oh yeah, this is from Reddit user That Short Girl. No, no, not that one. The other one. No, the other one. Yeah, that one. This is. He sniffed my hair multiple times. I don't even know the context or the content, and I'm already just uncomfortable. Everything about that is like, ew. Okay. You know what? Go for it. Tell me your story. I went on a date with this guy from Bumble the other day. He seemed like a nice dude. And he was. He was a little awkward, but so am I, so I didn't think too much of it. We went bowling. I lost severely, but we were in good spirits. Went back to his place. I just wanted to get to know him a little more, and after a while of being there, I made it clear that I don't do the sex on the first date. Also, kind of on my period, but shh. He doesn't need to know my time of the month. We sat down on his bed. He put on a show that I was talking about earlier. His dog was there, and we're just kind of laughing, talking. A small lull in conversation happens, and he reaches for a bit of my hair, sniffs it, and says that it smells nice. That's some fucking Silence of the Lamb shit. That's really creepy. I just kind of laugh nervously. Yeah, I bet. Holy shit, dude. After some time, we made out for a little bit, and he does this thing where he sucks your bottom lip very hard and for a long time with every kiss. I'm sorry, what? What the fuck is that? I genuinely think my lip started to bleed a little while it was in his mouth. Oh my god. And yes, it was swollen when I left. Holy shit, dude, that's so fucking weird. He also went for the nipples and stayed there for a very, very long time. All I could do was look up at the ceiling. Or the dog. After that, we kind of laid there for a little bit, and I could feel and hear him sniff my hair a couple of times. Stop it. Get some help. I finally just had to say that I needed to go home. He struggled with that for a second, but I was putting on my shoes anyway. What made it all even worse was that he didn't even walk me to the front door. He just didn't move. Like, I get not walking to my car, that's fine, but I'm in your house, a place I don't know. You could walk me to the front door. At least it shows me that you have some respect for me. Yeah, also, that's really fucking weird. Like, holy shit, dude. Also, when I say I don't do sex in the first aid, I mean I don't do other things either. You really struggle with that, but it's a policy I put there for everyone, even if I'm really into them. And this honestly isn't the worst first date I've ever had. Probably the second worst first date, though. Holy shit. I mean, I keep thinking that this dude's probably got a pit somewhere in his house where he keeps, you know, women that he's making into a suit and tells him about how he puts the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. You know, that kind of shit. <laughs> this dude's really fucking weird. But one of the commenters actually makes a really good point. And they said, It sounds like he read dating tips from some awful source and decided to use them on you. he probably probably never been on a date before and didn't know how to do anything. Awkward for him, uncomfortable for you. Sorry you had to go through that. This actually does kind of sound like one of those weird pickup artist things. Like one of those things, those weird guys who are trying to, you know, get money out of neckbeards and tell them, like, this is how you score all these chicks, bro. Uh, just weird shit like that it doesn't work it clearly doesn't work i mean this story alone and the several several others that we've read <laughs> but like there's so much weird in that and i honestly can't okay the one that really sits with me is the hair sniffing is weird the lip thing is extra weird but like this is a person even if you're attracted to him this is a person you don't know like you just met them and they're at your house, and you're just like, okay, and just let them walk out of your... What What if she just decided, like, you know, hey, cool Xbox, I think it's mine now. Like, what were you going to do? Like, you didn't even get up and look. This was so... It's so weird. I walk people to the front door of my house when they come to visit, even if I've known them for, like, fucking 15 years. 
It's the polite thing to do. So yeah, I agree with you, OP. That is, like, really fucking strange. And it's not just respect. It's, like, the proper thing you should do. Like, did this dude never, like, have people over to his house? Has he never seen how people interact? Like, literally everybody does that. When someone comes to your house, you greet them, you know, you do your hangout or whatever, and when it's time for them to go... You walk with them to the door. You don't have to walk them to the car. But, like, yeah, it's polite that you follow them out and say your goodbyes. I have literally no idea why this dude is so weird. That is so fucking strange, though. Like, wow. Just fucking wow. <sighs> Holy shit. Well, I think that's going to be it. This is a shorter one. But I think that's going to be it for this story. Because there doesn't seem to be much weird stuff uh, in the comment section that I'm uh, willing to share. I did see that OP posted the actual first worst date that they've ever been on, but I don't know if that's a really good idea. It's got some stuff in there that aren't, that YouTube will get all uh, about, so sorry, OP. I'm sure your first worst date is also a hell of a story, but this is YouTube and it sucks. But with that, if you, yes you, listening to this right now. Hi. I can see you. I'm looking at you right now. I'm not. I made that up. If you have a story you'd like to share with me, be it a terrible date story, a weird neckbeard story, a nice guy story, or any of the other stories that you can think of, send it to my subreddit, r slash moonhorse stories. How many more times am I going to say story in this fucking video? And... If you would please, like, comment, subscribe. Not necessarily in that order, but in one of those orders. Pick an order and go with it. But make sure you do all three. It's important. If you'd like to support this channel so we can keep doing stuff like this, because I really, really hope you do, we have two links for you to check out. I got a merch store, like a lot of YouTubers, except mine's awesome. Just gonna put it out there. And I have a Ko-Fi, which is like Patreon, but, you know, better. Because I'm awesome. And so are you. This show is brought to you by viewers like you. Much like PBS. Mainly because YouTube sucks and doesn't pay people who work here very well. It's true. But, if you would like to come hang out with me live, I stream every weekend with my fantastic fiancé. So, feel free to come join us while we play really weird video games and do other really stupid shit. It's kind of like a trash fire, but, you know, fun. Implying the trash fires aren't fun. Hmm. When did I become that guy? Either way, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.